All right, welcome back, everybody. It's 24 minutes before the top of the hour. I just need to apologize about uh, the microphone of my lay. It unfortunately wasn't on. I know that a lot of you have asked us what happened. Well, we're sorting it out. We're rectifying it. And you will have that beautiful voice coming to you very, very shortly. As we say, she's part of the Makufa Festival. It's taking place on the 2nd of October. So... Uh, stay with us. You'll hear that voice again in a short while. But let's move on to another issue. And as part of Heritage Month, President Jacob Zuma and his Mozambican counterpart, Philippe Nyuzi, will unveil the Matola Monument just outside the Mozambican capital, Maputo. The monument was built in remembrance of those who died during the 1981 raid by the then South African Defence Force. President Jacob Zuma will unveil a monument in Mozambique on Friday as part of Heritage Month to remember ANC operatives who lost their lives during the Madola Raid. 16 South Africans and a Portuguese national were massacred by the apartheid-era South African Defence Force in January 1981. The government's missing persons task team is calling on relatives of those killed in the raid to come forward. Families of Daniel Mulebazi, Nelson Ndunam Vula, and Mduduzeli Sibanyoni. The monument will not only be a remembrance of those who died during the raid, but will also act as a testimony to the supreme price the people of Mozambique paid to help liberate South Africa. The victims of the Madola raid previously received the Order of Mendy for Bravery and Gold, which is the highest honor in South Africa for bravery and heroism. All right, joining us in studio now to shed more light on the unveiling of this memorial that honors those fallen heroes is Natiam Tetwa. He's the Minister of Arts and Culture. Minister, always good to see you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Thank you. How significant is this memorial to the people of, of both South Africa and to Mo of Mozambique? Extremely uh, significant, Leon. Um, starting with uh, our country, South Africa, as you know, that the Constitution enjoins us uh, to recognize the injustices of the past and honor those who suffered for justice and freedom uh, in the land. This is one part of, of doing that, uh, but also recognizing that as we said in the May month, that we are Africa, uh, that the, the pain of a South African is a pain of an Egyptian or a Mozambican. In this instance, apartheid uh, made South Africans to suffer not alone. Uh, atrocities were committed against uh, many uh, people uh, across the world, particularly in the frontline states. Uh, Mozambique was one such a uh, target. Um, with the Madola raid in 1981, uh, on the night of the 30th of January to the 31st, is, 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 is a fateful night which will always uh, remember apartheid through that uh, this is how this kind of a system has to be eliminated forever yeah. uh, in the face of the earth. Yeah, yeah. Um, when we look at something like this and the, and the relations between South Africa and Mozambique, how do you feel that something like this will even strengthen that further? It, 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 it is going to strengthen. Remember that uh, Mozambique was part of the broader liberation movement. The African National Congress in particular and, and Frelimo have always been uh, sister organizations um, in the trenches, against colonialism generally, but also against apartheid. And in democracy now, this kind of a, a memorial is going to further cement our relations uh, with, with Mozambique, which is a sister country mm -hmm. uh, in, in many ways uh, than one. <clears throat> so the highlight of the 11th by uh, our president, His Excellency President Zuma, and His Excellency President uh, Nyusi uh, would be that here are the countries uh, who represent the triumph of, of humanity uh, and her spirit against the evil system of apartheid yeah. and colonialism. Yeah. When, when one visits the memorial site, you know, once it's unveiled and, and is open to the public, what is it that you're hoping people will take away from it? What is it that, you're, that, that, that we're hoping 
the, the significance of this will, 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 will put out? It's the bond, the bond that binds the two countries. Um, if you go to the memorial uh, center itself, it, it tells a story, uh, a story of a, a country which opened itself uh, and opened its own houses mm. uh, for uh, South Africans, which were in exile uh, at the time, uh, as safe houses. Um, it, it, it tells a story, a journey of leaders of our people, Oliver Tambo and, uh, and, and, and Samora Machel, that as you enter the center, you see these two giants of our liberation struggle welcoming you, uh, speaking in one voice, together holding each other's arm. Uh, it, it actually going to symbolize that very deep-seated uh, unity and bond yeah. which binds the two countries. Which, which brings us to the point of, of where South Africans at some point may have lost that memory, may have fallen off the path. I mean, whenever you talk about instances of relations between the two countries, with Mozambique, South Africa, so strong, such a rich history together, um, so much that was helped in the past, and yet one name could really destroy so much of it, and that name I'm talking about is, is the late Mido Masia. We, we all know that as South Africans, a lot of us um, are completely against that incident, but it did, in a way, it hurt relations between the two countries. A and this again, is this a way forward of saying that xenophobia is absolutely unacceptable in this country? Yes, as we, we emphasize during the Africa month that we are Africa. That's where we need to start. Before you are a Mozambican or a South African, you are an, an, an African first and foremost. So such things uh, would not have any place in both our countries. Earlier this year, we, uh, the president had a state visit uh, to Mozambique and we had time to interact with the community and the people of that uh, beautiful country. Um, and it was amazing to understand their insight about incidents like uh, the Mido Masia one, mm. that uh, they, they really cannot define who South Africa is and who South Africans are, and therefore uh, they were with us uh, in saying that justice will prevail, and justice is prevailing. And, and, and from that we're moving forward together with uh, Mozambique uh, to build a very strong uh, SADC uh, region, uh, which has to contribute uh, in, the, in the integration and the revival of the continent itself. So the two countries are going to be very key going forward in strengthening uh, the AU Agenda 2063. Yeah, indeed. So the event is on Friday in Mozambique, and uh, it's, uh, it's the unveiling of a memorial that honors those fallen heroes and talking to us uh, at the, uh, at, uh, in, uh, the Matole uh, Memorial. It's a monument just outside of Mozambique in Maputo. So it really is going to be something to go in and see. Uh, Arts and Culture Minister, thank you very much for joining us. Natia Mtetwa talking to us about that uh, Matole Raid monument. And uh, this will all be happening on Friday. 1981, the raid by the then South African Defence Force. Let's take a break. We'll see you after this.